day has come. It's bowel thrust today. I'm feeling a bit poorly. I haven't got COVID, but I've got a stinking cold. Look. So sorry if I sniff. And we have taken everything down from the shelves. Just in case. Just in case, because we're going to be at an angle. Um, and we're going to be rammed up a slipway. <laughs> an empty water tank. Yep, had to empty the water tank, try and get as much uh-huh. weight off the front as possible. <laughs> Everything's all down the back here. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't really know what's going to happen until we get no. there. So, I guess it's a matter of um, mooring up, uh, sort of just outside Shepparton Lock, um, near the slipway, and um, seeing what happens. Take it from there. <laughs> So up ahead is Shepparton Lock and the slipway just before the lock. So we're going to go on the lock landing first and await our instructions. So we've moored up on the lock landing and at the moment the engineers having a little look um, at the bow thruster and then getting some video for his company. So we're taking the opportunity to feed Bailey before we start heading up the slipway. About me. <laughs> the bow thruster is off. Is that right? The bow thruster the, is off? The, no, the, top the top motor unit is off. We can't undo the leg otherwise we'll fill it up the water. Yeah. So, like always, we're on boat time. Uh, it's just about hit five o'clock um, and they've realised there's some boats in the slipway so they're going to have to move the boats first before we can even attempt to get up it. Fun times! <laughs>
so it's a few days later. Um, sun's out, and we've had our bow thruster fixed. Um, <laughs> only took six months from complete failure. Um, it was quite hairy. Um, oh, that's funny. Pulling, pulling the boat up the slipway. I um, didn't realise like how sort of bouncy and rocky it was going to be. Yeah. Um, good job we took all the stuff down from our shelves because uh, <laughs> they would have been on the floor. They literally would have been on the floor, definitely. Yeah. Um, Bailey didn't care. He, oh, he tried to come up the back. Realised there was quite a sort of at um, the front. He tried to walk the front. They were sliding back down. So he gave up. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'll just go back to bed then. So. No, no. I... He just basically slept through it. Yeah. So I mean, the boat only needed to be a few foot out of the water because um, yeah. the bow thruster is right at the front of the boat so um, but yeah gosh getting 40 tons just a few foot out the water so we had to sort of roll over a scaffold pole that which um, sort of lifted us slightly and then um, the tractor was struggling a little bit I think they had problems with the tractor anyway. Yeah. But it just, it, when he pulled it on the hydraulic arm, it just pulled it straight up. Yeah. And they should have left it at that, but then they tried to rejiggle, didn't they? And then it all went then back we in saw again a, and yeah, back out. backwards. Yeah. So but it was um, easy enough. Yeah. So kudos to Richard. His diagnosis was 100% right. Oh yeah. So with us like know that. taking the motor off and having <laughs> a look, and then the underwater camera and checking that the um, actual sort of propeller blades were okay. It was the leg, it was the bow thruster leg. Yeah. Um, so the only thing that could have happened, which we've not told you about up until this point, is that basically when the boat was launched, um, air can go up the tube well, of the bow thruster. Air's in the tube, isn't oh, it, already? Yeah. And then it, they drop it straight into the water and then your bow thruster tube is half full of air and you can't have any air in it. No. No air, because it'll overspin the actual motor. So it's spinning in air, which, um, yeah. and normally, um, what happened to ours is quite rare. Normally, basically, the air would sort of get pushed out. Um, but when we spoke way back on, um, well, gosh, Christmas time, um, to the guy from Vetus, uh, he said what we should have is in our eyebrows, um, which are the little sort mm, of dome shaped, not these ones, yeah, the dome shapes on the bow of the boat that the, the tube sort of comes out to, um, there should be a hole in the eyebrow so that when the boat is launched any air can get pushed out yeah. of the little hole. Um, and we didn't have holes, so we now have the holes drilled as well. Yeah, just in case. Yeah, so um, we do believe now, because um, we did alert our broker to the fact that this is what Vetus had said, that their boats are now coming in with holes with in holes the eyebrows. Holes already pre-drilled. Yeah, so it's quite rare for it to happen. Oh yeah, it's a one in a hundred chance, isn't it? That... But it did happen and it happened to us so i think it happened to us and we noticed it more because we do use the boat that's right yeah and a lot of these boats the bow thrust is hardly used and it they don't go anywhere no that's you're never right. going to have a problem whereas we've got you know over 200 hours we haven't even had it a year yet no so our bow thrust is working yeah <laughs> yeah definitely now good in the world of bow thruster uh, you've not really used it much I think Richard has got so not used really. to driving the boat now without a bow thruster he's become quite expert it's at like it five seconds to get off a, <laughs> off a pontoon and then not really touch it again no um, but, you, but yeah you do for, um, and we've just literally been through bell weir lock and um, it's, a, it's a little bit of um, it's yeah, quite narrow to get way. in and then it's quite wide once you're in the lock so, you know, Richard can just tap the bow thruster and just brings brings us over so that we can put the ropes yeah. so much easier. Otherwise, I'd put the, normally put the back in, jump off with a centre rope and pull it in yeah. and then get back on again, which is, so that's doable, but yeah. 
it's not much fun. It won't be fun in the summer when the lock's full of other boats and you're trying to manoeuvre. You haven't got room, have you? No. And we have no. now seen two the boats out. The high boats are out. They're out. Brace yourself. So, thank goodness, our bow thruster is now fixed. Here um, come the loons. Because we're going to need some <laughs> extra manoeuvrability. Here comes the entertainment. <laughs> I love higher boats. fiasco. I feel quite sad that we can't harp on about it anymore. I feel a bit, <laughs> You'll of, a, find a, bit of a sense of loss of, of topic. Um, it's kept you going though, I'm sure. The so, suspense. <laughs> the suspense. <laughs> and uh, yeah, all is good in the world of boating. So give us that cheeky little like. Hit that subscribe button. Come on, we're trying to aim for a thousand. We're not there yet. And hit that notification bell. And YouTube will alert you when we bring out a next video. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.